Mounds of ground up switchgrass or biomass fills the inside of Midwestern biofuels in Greenup County, waiting to be compressed into pellets like this and burned with coal. This year marks the first time the ground switchgrass was pelletized and it is proving to be better for the power plants which burn the switchgrass with coal to produce energy. The pellets are handled just like coal. Uh, we take it to the same coal docks, uh, take it through their process where it's uh, blended with coal. It goes through the crusher and blended into the bark. Uh, currently we've tested up to an 8% blend with coal and it's went to the utility with no problems. Midwestern Biofuels is seeking a patent for its pelletizing process and invited the cooperating farmers who grew the switchgrass for the UK project to their plant to see the end product. Like Bracken County's Tom Malone. Malone is one of 20 producers growing five acres each of switchgrass for the project. Malone says he finds the pelletizing process intriguing. At this point, as we stand here today, we find ourselves on a verge of having a lot of further interest, uh, further development, uh, and I, I'm really excited and intrigued. The switchgrass was trucked to Midwestern Biofuels to be pelletized after producers harvested the crop this fall and put it in either round or square bales. Midwestern Biofuels then grinds the switchgrass and eventually compresses it into pellets. East Kentucky Power Cooperative, one of the partners in the project, suggested this year's crop be pelletized for easier handling during the energy making process. So they wondered if we could get it in a pelleted form that would resemble coal handling. They've got that type of equipment, they wouldn't have to change their equipment, they don't have to change their conveyors and those kind of things. So by putting it in this form, it allows them kind of to operate as standard procedure to incorporate this biomass in their system without any changes, you know, no significant financial output or anything like that. University of Kentucky hay specialist Tom Keene says there is still work to be done on the project, but after three years and 265 tons of switchgrass harvested this year, he hopes to see that increase to 400 tons in 2010. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.